What is going on guys? This is the Lost Yeti here and today we're back again with another episode of Here They Lie where we last left off rejected by our girl and we got sent down into some sort of subway station with the uh, Pompeii bodies of doom. I don't know what's going on anymore um, but we're about to know and a subway station really isn't too far off. I think we're going back to where we started off to be perfectly honest. Um, things have not been he took an eastbound train going anywhere. Sorry about that. Had to uh, go for it. Don't really know what's supposed to be going on here, but uh, the weirdness factor of like things jumping out and trying to murder us is dialed back, so expect that anytime soon. Um, our boy Don Corleone is calling from God knows where. Don? I, I, for some reason... Oh, here is the weirdness factor that I was waiting on. How, how are you doing, bud? Uh, I suppose I went the wrong way? Yes, I believe I went the wrong way. Hello, Satan. Well, I do suppose this means I'm dead, and every time I die, it just gets even a little bit weirder. Hi, friends. As long as you don't start to follow me, I think we're doing all right. All right. We're gonna take the eastbound train going anywhere. So I suppose the eastbound was the correct way to go, whether or not I realized it. Oh, but now we're, we've got westbound. So maybe it wasn't the correct way? I don't know anymore. I, I could have looked dead at the westbound and called it the eastbound and not known any wiser. That's where I tried to go last time, so we're going this way. Got the batteries. Don't know where the phone is. It's probably somewhere around here. Don Corleone. Hey, Don, how you doing? Buddy. Oh, God. He's coming. Don't look at him, buddy. Don't look. He knows. He knows everything. You can't. I, I do believe that that is he. I believe that this is he. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The run button is so anticlimactic, to be perfectly honest. All right. I suppose we're going eastbound. Coming right up. He took the eastbound train going anywhere. And Pompeii would soon follow. I'm sorry that I ever called Bastille a washed up band. Uh, well, washed up is probably a strong word. Okay, we're back here again. Well. Can't go that way. Now we've got this weird symbol on the wall again. But thankfully, we didn't get brutally murdered when we passed that pile of fire, so I suppose that's probably a good first step. Hello? Anybody? What's going on out here? What you gotta say, what you gotta do. I think I missed my turn, to be perfectly honest. But, knowing my luck, they'll give me more flashlight batteries, because I totally don't need them. Oh no, another picture. There's so much shadow and oppression and lies and confusion. If we were given the truth of what it really means to be a sexually embodied individual um, and those at the top that are making all this money from feeding us it's this um, archetype of control if people aren't awake in their own sexual essence they're more easily controlled what's going on <laughs> i think this game is just too smart for me to be perfectly honest if anyone understands what's going on i'd love to hear your uh, conspiracy theory down in the comment section below uh, this is a really steep walkway. Are we are we good? We're not good. We're not good. We're not good. Bring on the trips. We're still tripping off that crow. Because these walkways are literally morphing in front of my eyes. It's like breathing like this is someone's aorta. Oh, that's not the way we're going. We're going this way. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I do suppose we did start in a subway station now, didn't we?
But judging by the fact that we haven't had something brutally murder us in the last five seconds, I suppose we're going the right way. Although that looks super ominous. And it appears to be the only way forward. Can I buy a ticket from you? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. The weird stuff begins. Yup. Alright. Jump scare me. Hit me. I'll keep spinning. What do you gotta show me? Missing persons report? That's me. What else you got? I don't like the bubbling noises. Is this when I die? If you're gonna jump scare me, just- oh. Yep, I'm dead. You may, uh, are my head spin right round, baby. Like a record, baby, right round, right round. Oh, we're, we're going in. That's uncomf. Oh, this is real uncomf. But don't worry, I still need... Close that door. I still need a... Flashlight batteries, even though I'm underwater. He was there at the end. What did I... What was I at the air? Did I watch Dana die? Is that where this is all going? Are we gonna get more stuff to fall out of the door? Alright. Jump scare me. Let's go. I'm ready. Or at least give me new flashlight batteries. Yep, there we go. Metal detector telling me that I shouldn't be using the flashlight? Well, I'm using the flashlight. Tally ho! Well, that way's up, and this way's probably to my death. So, this way, I suppose? Something will probably murder me if I go the wrong way, so. That's just gonna be my deciding factor. So far, things are good. Hey, bud. Are you here to murder me to tell me I'm going the wrong way? Hello? Don't like that in the slightest. Oh, here we go with the morphin tunnels again. I don't know what's going on, but it's weird. I need help. This is really uncomfy now, all the doo da day. You don't. He's got to be on some serious type of drugs to get to this point. That's all I can really say. Like, this isn't... Look, we're going to take these stairwells just so that guy's a little bit further away from us. But just to get to this point... Oh, the blood again. The glorious, glorious blood. I guess we're go going to go for a swim in about a moment. Um, I, know, I guess this game really just knows how to make me feel uncomfortable when it comes down to it. Are you going to just write... Oh, no. Oh, the squishy noises. All the types of uncomfortable doodah. Alright, well, I suppose that's probably... Well. Well. Don't like that. Yeah, my my character is absolutely losing his mind. What do you, what do you got? And now I am not where I once was. There are lots of bobbies in the floor. I tried to save as many people as I could. What's gonna happen now? Oh, and then this is this is now a walkable path. Uh, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. There's something to that effect, to be perfectly honest. Oh, subway. Are we back where we started? Get me out of this place. Because this is like a perfect loop. 
This all was just a really bad trip on the subway. And if I could just get off the subway, that would also solve my problems, but, um... Riding the subway through hell is not solving my problems. And I, to be honest, I don't really see what's going on out there. Oh, hello, that's a person. Hi. Hi, Satan. Just visiting. Alright, give me the creepy people that are probably gonna murder me. And we're good. This was all just a dream. You can you can conclude it like that. I'd be content. Just get me the heck out of here. Just don't have the lights flicker and give me a jump scare like you did in the beginning, because I'll fall for it. We are now at Celeste Station. Which apparently has more flashlight batteries. You know, Energizer would never make it in a, in a town like this with three batteries hanging out everywhere. It just, it wouldn't be economical for them. Oh, and that's some type of stairwell. I suppose that that means I'm supposed to go this way because that looks unsurpassable. And the uncomfortable tunnels will just continue this way anyways. And the more I think about it, honestly, even if I was going the wrong way, I feel like the game would point me in the right direction. Because it's just it's just choosing my directions for me. I'm just along for the ride at this point, I do suppose. And speaking of along for the ride at this point, we are going somewhere. I like that I can put away my flashlight, though. Save the battery. Because it's not going to help us right now. Still falling. And I can still take out my flashlights. So that's good, I suppose. Oh, but we're walking again. That was a uh, interesting loading screen. I'll give you that. Hey, Pompeii. Either I'm supposed to walk. No, okay, that's that's me saying not to go this way. Got it, got it. Any more creepy things coming out from the ground? Yeah, we just got these guys. What's up, guys? You know, it's not so horrifying when it happens every time. One of these times, they're gonna like grab me, and I'm gonna scream like a little little schoolboy. Oh, this is not where we were before blood is back. Didn't miss that. And I don't like how it's very quickly filling up. If I could get out of here ASAP, that'd be awesome. Am I on the ceiling? It does appear I'm on the ceiling. And now we're in the Wild West. Uh, well, I can't say I understand this game. Don't need the flashlight at the moment. More batteries? Oh, another piece of paper. Oh, another photograph. So during a certain point of the night, I could listen to the wind, but it was not like a regular wind. It was a really strong presence, and I could feel that it was the force of the wind combining and meeting the force of the water. This spirit of the water, it's called Iamanja. And the spirit of the wind is called Iansan. So when they meet, you could feel the presence in yourself. Oh yeah, I'll be feeling the presence, all right. But where does it start? That's where our brain is. That's where our thoughts are processed. What is it? Is it just a room for all of these ideas? Is it a holding space? Is it even truly ours? Are we just floating through here and floating through other places at the same time that we're just not aware of? What we hold on to, what we see the most, is what we've decided to believe. Your consciousness could be anything and nothing all at once. Oh, that's a lovely thought. Anything is possible. I'm glad that the it's void just, tree is just here to hang out. To willing to believe. Oh, 
Oh, am I just... I'm just going into the void. Okay, got it. Oh, we're going for a sail in the void. That's what I want. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away in galaxies of sea. There was a point where I thought this game was like understandable and it was about the first five seconds and then immediately after that it's all gone downhill. Is this the, this is the building now that we were outside with Dana last we saw her. Did we kill Dana? Or did Dana kill us? The, I was with, with him at the last minutes is not necessarily a good sign. Was Dana with Don Corleone and we got jealous or something? Because he seemed like he was in trouble, which is not a good sign. And I suppose we'll probably be getting our answers sooner rather than later, so I shouldn't be saying anything, but... Hello, Trip. This part looks really cool. This I could see in VR being absolutely spectacular. Like, full stop, would enjoy. But the, the whole jump scares and people with bats thing just doesn't, does not seem like a 10 out of 10 experience. Also, this falling through the water and not making any waves. There's splashing effects, I should say. That's a little weird. But they all seem to be cool with it, so I'm cool with it. We chilling on our boat. Our boat, boat's all pitch black now. It's that dark, dark wood. That dark, floaty wood. Don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Monty Python in the Quest for the Holy Grail, but it's, it's it's a witch. How do you know she's a witch? Well, does she float? I know I'm butchering that quote, but if you know what I'm referring to, you know what I'm referring to. If not, watch Minds Python and Quest for the Holy Grail. Humble plug, we're gonna go right into the side of this building. Ooh, this is dope. That's a that's a scene if you ever don't see one. But uh storyline wise, I have no idea what's going on. But it just looks super rad. I think I'm in a kaleidoscope. If there was ever such a way to go inside of one, I do believe this is what it would be like. Yo, that's pretty rad, not gonna lie. Antelope friend, okay. And this is the purple comet. The moon rock that we're landing on, I do suppose. Or just the subway station yet again. For round three of subway. Eat fresh. So I was semi right about the subway thing. As soon as this will let me off, there we are. It's a curious choice. Can we run again? No, not yet. Oh, my computer's going off. Sorry about that if you could hear it. It's telling me that I need to update my passwords because Google says that they are no longer strong enough. And I'm telling Google that it can go leave because my passwords are super strong. They work out twice a day, lifting them weights all day. Okay. More flashlight batteries, definitely need those where I am. And we have the Uno traffic lido. Great. But like, the, the antelope guy wasn't out there to kill us, he was just chilling. So, he can be behind me all he wants. Or in front of me all he wants. Like, you're not super a threat. And here we go. Don't let them see you. Why? They were fine before. What makes them so bad now? Hmm. 
We're still following this weird cable thing. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. And if we weren't supposed to let us see them, then we're supposed to be doing what we're doing. I mean, we're just run outrunning them straight up. Like, that has not be been an issue th thus far. And perhaps it's because we're taking these detours through the buildings that it's not a problem. But. I don't know. They're there. They're doing their thing. I'm grabbing my flashlight batteries, you know. Just, we all have tasks here. We all feed into some part of the circle of life. Please don't murder me. Don't forget us. Well, I'm, I don't believe that I am. There's a reason why I have nightmares. He was there at the end. Yes, I came to this conclusion earlier. Thank you for your concern. This seems like the incorrect way to be going. Yep, uh, he's gonna murder me. Or at least he's gonna darn try to. On delay, reba reba. Those are words that I don't know the reasons of. Another photo. Like a steady face. Um, but, you know, Hi, peeps. Yep. Just, just tap me once. Um, I'm still going. I think perhaps a, a quieter assurance. Gotta get my flashlight batteries. Gotta get my fix. You understand. Or the need to make a change in your life rather than like the bolt of lightning kind of moment. I think some people. Ooh, tire swing? Like Can we go for a ride? Might process and receive information like that, and others don't. I'm hoping that I'm going the right way. This place does look like it's just a little bit of death, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, more subway stations. I don't like that it keeps bringing me back here. Oh, we're back at the no entry. This is lovely. And we can pick this again. And, uh, okay. Can I just walk through the door? No, they're pretty darn close. Hello, it's I, the man with the flashlight. Here to save the day. Buddy, is that you? What? Yeah, he, he's lost Buddy? it, dude. The hell? I can't be. You look so old. You're, you're not. Wait. Buddy, I don't know what's going on here. You just gotta find Dana, man. She can figure this out. You should go. I'll go too. Okay? You're weird, dude. Whatever you gotta say. We gotta find Dana. The E's Woodsy D's. Not going that way. Not going this way. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Can we get some flashlights up in here? I dreamt that I was staying on the edge of a cliff so they look at fine and watch this. Jumped and woke up because I was falling because I had kind of been a dream and never been a dream. Lovely. Well, I guess that that does rule out that this whole thing being a dream uh, situation. Well, I shouldn't say rule out, but it makes it highly unlikely. Well, we've got a monster that way, so I'm going to go up this way. Hi, friends. Care for a game of musical chairs? I've, I'm pretty good at this game. Oh, 
Oh man, there's a whole lot of them. We're just gonna run for it here. Please don't bash my head in. Ooh, now I actually don't know, because I, I went up there. So I think I did make a mistake there. Yeah, that's fine, whatever, guys. Not too concerned by you. Hopping around, bringing around town. Sorry for backtracking. We can grab the batteries. Yep. Typical. And it looks like we're going to be making our way up to the tippity top of this guy. Yeah, more Pompeii people. I suppose that means we're going the right way. Don't like that they have this house going up on fire, but uh, looks like that's where we're going. And of course, go down to the basement because that seems like the right decision to make here. Oh, come on. Are we not supposed to go down to the basement? We've got to go down to the basement. I'd like to believe that we've got to go down to the basement. What else you got for me, then? Because clearly this place is on fire. Oh, I suppose maybe I wasn't supposed to go in there. My bad. You think you understand what's going on, then you realize you really don't have any idea what's going on. Although I suppose following the wires has probably been the best intuition I've had thus far. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a common. And like, part of my problem is also this one's going to be a little bit longer. Sorry, guys. I'll be wrapping it up here soon. But just I don't know when to stop it because I don't want to leave myself with like 10 minutes left of the game. I don't know if this game is like an hour, two hours, three, you know. It's always hard with this kind of stuff. So I hope you understand. So once we get to a natural point, we'll probably be calling this one here soon. But super, super duper weird. I suppose that's probably not where we want to go. That's fine. I'll just go to the dock. Yeah, that man's... Is that, Don... Is that supposed to be Don Corleone? The guy that we're on the phone with? Oh, please don't murder me. I'm running away at full speed. This is as fast as my character can run. Dana. Dana, you, you got some explaining to do here, girl. Dana, stop running, please. Are you sure? Have you thought this through? You want to put everything back together. But it doesn't come without the pain. I thought I was over you. But I have to admit, it was great seeing you after so long. Maybe I was wrong about us. I don't know. It's a 
big decision. Come see me when you've made up your mind. Will that be a choice? I think that's where we're going to end, end this one off, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you did, consider leaving a like on the episode. As always, guys, this has been your host, The Last Yeti, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode of uh, Where... Th er, sorry, Here They Lie. Not where, because I, I don't know where there is. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.